Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, which is growing on a rapid pace. Just thank you so much just for allowing me to just tell you my story, allow you to allow me to help you, assist you with anything that you think you might need assisting with. So I'm grateful for you just giving me that opportunity and just here to support. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, you hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And plus, I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if you're about to open up and let me know about your impact and gifts and how it has impacted your life towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and just gave you some beautiful vibes and you feel like you need to, to share it with a loved one or a friend, please do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And the music I'm listening to is positive meditation music for anxiety and enhanced, ugh, enhanced positive energy, reduced stress, deep tranquil healing music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Aokas have faith and trust in yourself as well as the universe. We do. We need to have faith in ourselves. We need to have trust within ourselves. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get myself adjusted. I apologize. But yeah, we need to have faith and trust in ourselves because if we don't, where is it going to get us? Nowhere. We can't go off of, you know, people from the next person is telling us, oh, it's clear out here. And then you go run into traffic or something like that. You have to be able to trust in yourself and know that you have the confidence and strength in yourself to be able to get through anything that is placed in your life. And, I mean, there are sometimes incidents that put, I mean, it's been placed in our life to just knock us clean and put in tracks, just, like, press us on pause. And it, it's just, like, things like that happen in this life. And it's, like, things, you always say that there's things that has been placed in our lives is, you know, that if it doesn't break you, it makes you stronger, which is true. And it's just, like, sometimes that mess would be damn damn near on the breakage <laughs> damn near on the breakage you be like lord i can't take it no more i just can't i just can't and it's just like you know like i've been telling y'all almost every video you know it's a blessing when you have just been going 150 miles per hour like all day all day and it just finally when it gets down time it's like almost midnight and i had to push out four videos because it's like you know my daughter was like oh mom you can go ahead and do your videos but it's just like everybody's energy is in the house I have to have it settled and quiet. So I'm just like, no, I'm just waiting for you. You know, just go ahead and go, you know. And it's like we were having so much good, so much of a good time. It, it was, you know, it was fun. But, you know, back to my subject, I'm sorry, y'all. I was just like, y'all know the reason why, you know, I might seem like I'm rambling or whatever. Because it's lack of sleep. <laughs> it's lack of sleep. But, yes, there's times we can go through things that can be unbearable. It can be times there, there, there are things that we go through that we feel like we're not going to make it through out of, or we're, we're going to live through it. And I mean, y'all, y'all know, I know, you know, and it, it's just like, there's days that I feel like I cannot go on another day, you know, and there's days that I'm just not so perky you know, and up in the end, just be happy all the time, you know, it's just like, people are close to me, know, that, you know, I have my moments, or whatever, but I try to keep a positive outlook about things, even though I get frustrated, and I might just blab off to, you know, the universe, you know, this, 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 and this, and that, but, you know, I had to learn that, you know, we all, you know, I, you know, I had to just ask, you know, the universe, when is this gonna stop, when is this, you know, me going through this test is going to ever stop. And it's just like continue learning the lesson, lesson behind this test. 
it will not stop. You know, and you have to keep going through things and going through things, and it's fine. But it's not like you have a certain expiration date to finish this, even though, you know, the universe already knows when it's going to stop. The universe knows how it's going to stop. The universe knows what it's going to take for you to get on that right path or even get towards closer towards your blessing. It's not even, not even being on the wrong path or not, but you'll get indications when you know you're not on the right path. And I know a couple of, well, either probably tomorrow, I'll probably do a video on just letting you know the signs of knowing that you're on the wrong path. But we have indications about, you know, things we go through a lot. You know, it can be in our dreams. It's just like with mine. Mine goes to a thing where I see my dad half of the time. And next thing you know, my storyline's coming through cats. <laughs> like, because I have, you know, my two beautiful cats on the outside. And I have, like, the stray cats on the outside of my house that, you know, if y'all been with me for a while, y'all see pictures of them on my, um, um, in my videos and stuff like that. And, um, I have to try to decipher what's going on in my, my videos and it's just like, you know, there's days that I fall short in faith. There's days where I feel weak, you know, because of situations that go on that I can't control, that I wish I could. You know, trying to figure out I have all the answers. We're not going to have them all. <laughs> We're not going to have everything figured out. And, you know, that's why I try to just keep it real with y'all. You know, there's days, you know, there's a lot of people that do YouTubers, you know, to YouTubers and there, you know, there's some of them, I'm looking like, damn, do you ever have a bad day? Because they never show that to you. And it's, uh, you know, it could be, you know, because of the content of what they're doing or, you know, whatever they're, you know, into on, on their channel. But as and for me, I want to be vulnerable with you. You know, I want y'all to see me. There's days that I might cry. There's days that I might get frustrated because we all go through that. You know, even though it's not, that's not the vibe I'm trying to send off. It could be, I can be sitting up here talking about the content of my video. And it can be something that really has touched me in a certain way that it has allowed me to let y'all see that, that side of me. But, you know, I had to find faith in myself, faith in the universe to know that things are getting better. And, you know, we're going through all these shifts and know that you're not going through these things just for, you know, the universe to be playing with you. There's a reason why you're getting prepped to be the strongest person you can be. Because, you know, you might not be able to handle, you know, your blessings right now. And it's just like sometimes I'm not trying to say that in a condescending way. But, you know, there's times that we want things to come into our lives to be placed there. And we might not be mentally and emotionally ready for that situation yet. So you have to be able to prepare yourself. You know, you gotta, you know, there's times that I get mad at the universe. And I'm just like, why y'all put these things in my face and have me go out my way, to, you know, to look for these things. And then, you know, I get all upset when it's not what I want to hear. But it's just the fact that the universe wants to see how many times we can place these things in your lap. And just to see how you're going to take that strategy about going through it towards these things that we put in your life. And it's not for the fact is that we're trying to play with your emotions and get you all up, all up in your feelings or anything like that. We just want to see, do you have that go-getter mode to go for that? How many times are you willing to go through something before they end up giving up? Because it's like with me, if things got hard with my situation, like anything that came in life with me except my children. That's the only one thing I can say that I didn't never give up on. But anything that I ever gave up on in life, I was going to run away from it. If I didn't understand it, I ran away. If I didn't like what you said, I ran away. I walked away. I didn't want to hear nothing else you had to say. You know, or if it's things that I didn't want to probe in or, or whatever, just dive into it because I wasn't comfortable. I didn't know where this was leading me, even though the spirit guides were leading me this way, I took off, took it upon myself and went the opposite direction. And just for me going the opposite direction and not going by my gut instincts, I mean, my intuition or gut instincts or, you know, love from divine, I did what I wanted to do, but then I can't get mad at nobody except myself because I decided to make that decision and go against what they told me to do anyway. So, you know, when you know that you're going through things and you get frustrated and tired of going through, you have to really analyze yourself, analyze the situation and 
the people around you? You know, is there some, some people that you need to let go of? Is there a situation you need to let go of? Is there something that you need to give yourself time to heal for? Or is there something that you're suppressing from yourself that you need to set free? There's a lot of things that you have to do to be able to get towards that blessing and not get frustrated because <laughs> things are not coming in in a play for you. And I have to tell myself that a lot because you don't know when my situation it goes so bad because I stress, I try not to stress out and I have to have tough skin for everything that I hear on social media. That's why I try not to stay on Facebook or any kind of other social media sites because I get so sensitive about the things that I hear about with my father. So I have to be able to have tough skin and knowing there are certain things that I cannot control, especially on dealing with my father's skin. I have to try to be able to do do my, my part to be able to go towards that direction. So, you know, when I fall short and just wonder, you know, why can't, you know, just being so simple as a person on their family, it, it's like jumping through monkey hoops just to be with family when that, that should be a God-given right. But I have to think about my things are so extraordinary, not just with the whole situation. It doesn't really have anything to do with me, but the whole purpose of what I have to go through is so scarce. It's so important. It's so that I can't allow what I, I'm trying to jump towards get in the way of what I got to do now. So I have to lead myself towards that way. You have to lead yourself towards that way, too. So I hope you're able to get something out of that message, you know, not trying to bring y'all down, but we all have that moment in time where we need that reassurance in life, just to have trust in ourselves, have faith in ourselves, faith in the universe, that things will change and turn around for us. You know, if you're pushing out uh, good vibes and positive vibes, or you know that you're just going through a lot and you're trying your best to get through it, knowing there's going to be a bright part through for you. There's going to be that serious... Uh, Silver lining that you are looking for, y'all. Like, I'm going to get some sleep. This is my last video. <laughs> I'm going to get some sleep, I promise. So, you know, I hope you're able to resonate with it. And know that that silver lining is in the clouds for you. Your blessings are on their way. Just have trust and faith in the universe that they will happen for you. So, as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed and highly favored and truly loved. And know there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share either with a friend or a loved one or your social media favorites. And much love and light to you. And namaste. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.